Today is the first day back to school, and in our area, approximately 328,000 students return to the classroom. Today, a little over half of those students are in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. WJZ has been covering the lead up to the new school year for days. Avajoy Burnett is live in Baltimore with reaction from the district about challenges. Avajoy. Hi, Nikki. We're in Baltimore County at this moment, but we have been covering the county and Baltimore City along with Howard County and Anne Arundel County. And we saw a lot of excitement today. We saw friends run into each other's arms after being apart for the entire summer. But there are also challenges. We've been talking about the severe teacher shortage that many districts have been dealing with. Some districts are hundreds of teachers short. It is back to school for several districts in our region. I woke up this morning crying like a little baby. It is my last first day of high school. And after three years of some form of COVID-19 protocol, Baltimore County's approximately 110,000 students return to school with expectations mm -hmm. and excitement. It's just like, you know, normal's not really in the card for us no more. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, we're learning to embrace our changes. But the area's largest school district is still working to fill about 200 teacher vacancies, and Baltimore County is still looking for bus drivers. We deploy central office staff members to fill in gaps. Uh, we looked at long-term subs who've been a part of our system. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning sir. Baltimore City also opened its doors today for its 77,000 students. At last check, the district was short about 200 teachers as well. They're hoping retired teachers will come back as subs until the district can fill those slots. Dr. Sonia Santalisa said this is her favorite time of the year, but it's not without challenges. Some city schools with no AC had to close early. We had an additional six or seven that were broken. One, for example, Gardenville broke this morning. It's already repaired. So um, we're on target. We're in communication with the families early. The first day back means staff, students, and their families will have to work through the challenges today and perhaps in the days to come. I'm kind of calm about this year. I feel really good about it. And Mayor Brandon Scott reminded the public that just a few years ago, dozens of schools did not have AC. So the fact that the number is now under 10, that is an improvement, according to the mayor. Now, coming up for you on WJZ at 4:30, we're going to take you to Howard County and Anne Arundel County. They too started school earlier today. We'll have much more for you in about 30 minutes. Back to you.